What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream. Got a little earthquake. Well, pretty good sized earthquake over here for the East Coast. A 4.2 earthquake, earthquake along the uh, eastern seaboard over here. Let's go ahead and check that out a little bit uh, on the closer map here from the USGS there. You can see that red circle indicating this recent earthquake within the last hour. 4.2 earthquake there near one of my favorite words in school, Mass Massachusetts. Something like that, right? One of one of my <laughs> not so great pronunciations out there. Anyway, uh, nine kilometers south southeast of Bliss Corner, at uh, twenty kilometers below surface. This is pretty deep, but uh, no doubt, I'm sure some folks fill in that earthquake. It looks like they just wow. Okay, so it looks like they just wasn't that a four point two? Just like a little bit ago, like a minute ago. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. I've been uh, been up all night. Not by choice, but by bills. Um, and it looks like the depth here updated a little bit, uh, about 15 kilometers below the surface. I don't believe there's going to be any type of tsunami with this, but they did mention it. Uh, who would have thought, right? 4.2 magnitude. Here is one message from the folks at the USGS or the uh, Tsunami Warning Center. Uh, there's that 4.2 magnitude that uh, changed there to a 4.0 now from the USGS. There is no tsunami danger from this earthquake. We'll go ahead and check out the Did You Fill It reports. I'm sure there's quite a few folks uh, reporting that. Uh, not me. Let's go back over here real quick. Here's the uh, responses. I mean, if you're up kind of early. Of course, back there it's already 9.30. 6.30 here on uh, November 8th few folks out there around uh, well around these specific towns here looks like uh, quite a bit 139 reports out there so far I'm trying to get some uh, specific locations here I mean there's just so many zip codes over there <clears throat> but yeah definitely felt over there as far as the shake map goes you can see the intensity there on the shake scale right around the uh, star center is the epicenter area right there it looks like uh, mostly light shaking 15 kilometers below the surface uh, if this was much shallower far as like normal uh, depths of the earthquakes roughly around five three to five kilometers there would be a wide uh, area of report and much stronger but uh, for now uh, 15 kilometers there in that area not uh, we don't hear about too many earthquakes over there do we pretty uh, pretty crazy activity folks so I'm um, just covering Trimmer real quick since I didn't get a chance to cover that last night. This is along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, some pretty significant movement still. Looking over a thousand epicenters of Trimmer. 1101 to be exact. Uh, and this goes back for the past couple days or so. Uh, so we're seeing a major increase in Trimmer out there along the Cascadia subduction zone. A little bit more uptick here in southern Oregon than what we've seen over the previous days. But... Uh, yeah, be, be on guard out there, folks. Looking pretty crazy. I need a little bit of sleep. I've been up all night, like I said. Uh, Got to pay some bills, right? Have a good night, guys. We will chat at you a little bit later. Live stream is up and running. Look at the beautiful image out there of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, beautiful wintertime weather up, up there in uh, Wyoming. All right, folks. Have a good day. I'll chat you guys a little bit later. Oh, if you did feel this earthquake... Over there along the East Coast, uh, I would really, really love to know what it may have felt like um, if you experience a, a rolling motion, swaying back and forth, maybe a sudden jolt. That would be of high value uh, to me. So let me know in the comment section. And uh, all right, folks, have a good day.